linebacker Matt Zuccarello. He came to the Dallas Stars, as did Ben Lovejoy yesterday, acquired from the Devils on Saturday. He's a Stanley Cup champion, Matt Zuccarello. He will be reevaluated in four weeks after leaving the game today. And his former teammate, Henrik Lundqvist, had a tough time today when reporters asked him about Zuccarello. Um. Good friend. <clears throat> Sorry. <sighs> I can't do it. <clears throat> Well, when you see a reaction like that, you know what impact Matsucarello had in that locker room for the Rangers and why the Dallas Stars go out and get a character guy like yeah, this. A perfect example of what Matt Zuccarello means to a locker room. I mean, you saw how Henrik Lundqvist was tearing up just now. He was a very respected veteran in the New York Rangers locker room. Besides what you see on the ice, on the ice, his first game against the Dallas Stars, you saw the elite vision he has, that Fox a goal, he makes that pass. Turning his head, and he knows that Fox is streaking up the middle of the ice, Jonesy, puts it in an area where he could only get it, and then the goal... I mean, two points in your first game for Dallas Stars. I mean, it's great for Matt Zuccarell. And I was always curious to see how he'd be able to get his emotions under check because, or in check because he wanted to play in New York. He loved playing for the Rangers, and I didn't know if he'd make that transition as quickly as he was able to do today. Yeah, yeah it was great to see, and it's just really unfortunate that he does what he does best, contributes to his team's success, tries to block a shot, takes one off the hand, and he, he'll be unavailable for a while. So he was going to be a very important player in helping the Dallas Stars get into the playoffs. Now they got to do it without him and hope that they're in a position when he returns and he can help them on a playoff run. But really disappointing news for the Dallas Stars that yeah. he was unavailable. According to reports, uh, Zuccarello thinks he broke his arm. He will be reevaluated by a doctor tomorrow, but at the very least out at least four weeks for the Dallas Stars. So that's going to be tough news as you take a look at where they are in the standings. Dallas in that first wild card spot being chased and by a lot by Colorado, Minnesota, Arizona, Chicago. You can move all these teams in there out west. Jones. Yeah, and the Avalanche are going again. They've been a very streaky team all year. They have kind of balanced out their lineup recently, and it's paying dividends. I would keep an eye on the Colorado Avalanche.